Welcome back. Today we're going to add some special effects to the intro of Blinding Lights. Uh, if we look at this sort of carefully from the, well, really listen to this from the lens of just a producer, not just someone hearing this on the radio, and if we were listening with our headphones, we would hear the beginning of the original song and we would hear some movement from left ear to right ear and also some whooshing sounds. one way to achieve this, but if you were to listen to what we've done so far, this low F pedal tone at the beginning, no whooshing sound, no movement from left to right. So in a previous video we learned how to automate. We learned that on the right hand side of, of the tracks we had a little sort of squiggle line up and down, almost looks like a zigzag or a lightning. And there was a spot for automation. Well we learned about volume automation but we have not tried sweeping, and sweeping adds an audio effect here that's going to change the texture of the sound. Uh, using muffled is fine for now, but you can experiment with all of the options, hollow and the nasals. Okay, But essentially what we're doing is, just like with the volume, it adds an extra copy of the, of the track down below in a lighter color. And you may remember that by clicking on that line, it gives you a handle to drag with. So I'm going to drag that sound effect. I'll do this like about every three beats maybe just to be creative. You can try this at any rate that you wish. But I'm going to oscillate back and forth here. Every three beats. Every three beats. And you're going to be able to hear a slight difference in texture for this note. All right, I'm going to leave it right here for now. Maybe we'll bring it back to the center there for the end of the song. Okay, so listen to this. So that's a lot of that sound, and if we were to compare it to the original, you only sort of hear an initial wah sound. Really just at first, so potentially we could, now the easiest way to erase this is to just delete what we've got. And if we added the same idea again, a muffled sweep, what if we started this whole thing down low and then made like over a few beats, we added this effect. Let's see what this sounds like. Cool, very similar, like that. Okay, so the only issue with doing this is this leaves an effect on the entire track. And you may remember that we also have some other notes and another complete region here, which we'll play now. Okay, and we may not want that texture on the other notes. So it could be an option if you like that sound, that sweep sound, you can grab this region and Pardon me. I'm going to bring it into a, I have to start a new track here. Synth track, that's great. And I'm just going to drag this down. Okay, now I was using the Explorer pad. I may have to go into this instrument and find my Explorer pad. That was under Pads and Explorer pad just to make the sound the same. And it should be. Let's go back to the beginning here. Oh, I have it muted. There she is. Okay, so if I only want to add the effect to this one region, then I should just add the sweep to this new track that I created. I personally liked the muffle sweep, and maybe I'll do it over that amount of time, and that gives me the effect I'm looking for. Now you're saying, Mr. Sherris, what about that left to right effect? Well, that's called panning. We pan from left to right or from right to left. So you'll add another layer of automation. You can see on the left hand side here, it's got pan. And uh, we start in one ear and this happens to be uh, whatever you want it to be. It could be frequent. You can experiment with different ratios. Um, you could even have it just gently move from one to the other.
decide that you totally hate that, it ends in one ear, so you can just very quickly bring it back to both. Very, very similar to the original. And so those are two of your options here for adding automation to uh, have the effects present at the beginning of the track. I'm going to give you one alternative to this, and I'm going to mute these tracks here for a second. An alternative to this would be uh, simply to have uh, an additional sound effect. And so you may have noticed in the synthesizers that when you're choosing voices, there is an effects selection. And there are different effects. This a bird dive could be a really cool thing. You'll also see hold key for one more sweep. Hold key for eight bars sweep. So it adds that texture, but it's only going to be that texture. We could choose, for example, to use that hold key for eight bar sweep, and we could record that track and just literally press any key. And I happen to be pressing C right now. And you might hear the piano because I'm hooked up to an external synthesizer. Now, it gives some extra sounds there. And it does last about eight bars, which is what it said it would last. There we go. I felt like it was a little late to the party there. Personally, I might like to reprogram that. Uh, also, we don't have the sweeping sound from left to right, and again, in automation, that's called pan. So we can start, the top is your left ear, bring this up to start in the left if you like, and then bring it to the right. You could even bring it back and forth, left to right to left to right, and then it could even be to center. Super weird. And you'll have to listen to that and decide what you like. I don't like the length of this region. I don't like where the sound starts. Personally, I'm, I'm going to go back and re-record that later. But that is one alternative to what you can do to the beginning of this uh, song to add those effects. Okay? Good luck with this. Have fun!